This is a video proving that uh, the uh, AR111 uh, uh, LED lamp is not sufficient enough to replace the um, uh, normal halogen R AR111. And this one is the one that I bought. Is um, let's see here. It's a 12 watt COB. Uh, 220 uh, through uh, uh, a driver here to a 12 volt a dimmable driver and uh, it's uh, 2700k and it's uh, supposed to be giving uh, 1000 lumen and um, as you see here uh, the angle the beam angle of the lamp should be 24 degree and um, here we can see the lamp itself I connect it with um, the following driver I will take away the screwdriver here and connect it to the uh, 230 uh, AC voltage and um, you can see here uh, the light on the white tile the light is uh, very good and um, could be good to use if the light power, the lux that is coming up from the lamp was good enough or enough, but it's not. If I measure it with um, this uh, lux meter here, and um, see it's not so easy to do it on himself, but I come up here to, um, in the best way, let's see here. Uh, Something I think I was up to 6,000 uh, lux. This is uh, Shiro lux. Now it's even less. Now it's only 4,000 uh, lux. Anyway, um, you can see the beam angle on the tile here. It's very wide. It's not 24 degree at all, like the seller is uh, wants uh, to tell to tell me as a buyer. And now we should connect a uh, normal 50 watt uh, halogen AR uh, 111 lamp, and it's uh, Osram one. Let's see here, Osram. And it's called uh, 41735FL 12 volt, 50 watt, 24 degree. And it's also made in uh, China by uh, for us, uh, Osram. Anyway, we should turn it on here. Just wait so I can connect it in a good way. See, so no um, power is on there, and then it should be um, turning on uh, like this. I take out this first, and uh, oh, I do like this. Connect it again, and then I take. A cord or the halogen one and you can see it directly it's a big difference if I get in the plug here there you see if you compare the two ones you can see the LED one and it's very round and Probably for sure 24 degree angle. Here you're comparing. I will lift up the LED one. Here, now you can see it a little bit. Such a big difference. See here? It's nothing. You can see it on the table here. It's very weak. 
compared to the to the halogen one. Now I will measure the halogen one and uh, and the best here it's over ten thousand lux. It's actually forty thousand lux or something like that. No, at the most sixty-five thousand lux. Comparing that with the um, LED one, let's see if I can lift it up. Good angle on it. If I take it very, very close to the lamp, then it comes up to 40,000. Take it away. Let's see, I think it's the other thing giving you lots of light. Take it very close, then it's up to 25,000. Take it away. There, it's 6,000 something. Oh, take it away so I don't burn. Again, comparing the, this is the halogen from here on the same distance from the LED, it's nothing, and for sure it's not 24 degree like the celery wants to tell me. Here you see very sharp angle here. Well, you can see the beam comparing. You can see a little bit there. It's a big difference. And also, uh, this LED version is supposed to fit the normal uh, AR111 housing. It doesn't. It's a little bit, a little bit too big. And uh, sadly enough, I've been giving back the house for for the, the the lamp to the customer so I could improve it again but um, it, it doesn't fit it, it's too big and uh, it's a standard of that probably it should be 108 millimeter and the seller have made it 111 which is wrong um, doesn't fit you can put on the the locking ring for the lamp and once again I will show you the light, the halogen, very sharp, and here, very very weak and not sharp angle at all. And I would say the seller is bluffing and he wants to um, bribe me to give me ten dollars back on this uh, deal. Here you can see it very clearly nothing compared to the halogen and uh, that was the seller have been several times uh, writing to me and saying yeah sure you can uh, exchange the halogen with the lead and as you can see here it's a big difference in lightning and uh, now I show you pictures and this video proving that I'm right and the seller is wrong so now I want uh, AliExpress to give me back uh, uh, let the seller give me back the money or release, don't release it to, um, uh, to the seller he just give uh, me back all of the money 216, 216 dollars I think it was because the seller don't want to agree that I'm right, which is sad. A good businessman uh, do agree to give back the money, but this uh, seller, Philip, 
is uh, not a good businessman and that he will lose in the long run. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. And my name is Per Sederberg from Sweden.